This is a test, this is a test, this is a test. Is this thing on? Yeah. It's Black Hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, now that my Bob Hope or whoever that was is over, possibly the other guy in Vegas, what's his name? What is his name? Wayne? John Wayne? No, I don't know. I have no idea. Anyways, welcome to my truck in the heart of nature, right? We're chilling. We're doing something a little different today. I don't know why. I just felt like I didn't want to be in a dingy, dark house area and I wanted some nature while we judge people on TikTok. And that's right. And that's true. That's what's happening here. Now, normally, I don't really want to be the guy, but if we can keep the frame of comedy, uh, yes, this video is going to require to be, uh, then yes, this video is going to require me to be a little bit of a judgmental dick, but it is all in terms of comedy. We're just going through TikToks. We're not taking it too seriously. However... I got to make a new TikTok account, brand spanking new fresh. And here's why, because the TikTok account that I have, it's uh, it's biased right now. It's it's the algorithm on it is set to basically woke talk. There's just going to be a ton of woke content and I want this to be as random as possibly can be. So I'm going to set up a random new profile and uh, have it be fresh. So it just feeds me whatever's clever, right? Like it doesn't feed me things that I've already spent time engaging in because the machine learning thing is just like oh he's paying attention to to spirituality and star seeds and overthrowing tyranny like you know what i mean so there you know it's already geared to that so we gotta start fresh so we gotta make a new tiktok i'm gonna do that right quick we'll see what my name comes up with i'm thinking fuck boy rd it's just a good one that i like for random fun shit and uh yeah we're gonna just scroll through a tiktok and we're going to just elaborate on things that we see, things that they make me feel. Very just like immediately how it makes me feel, my thoughts, my opinions. And that's it. And crack some J's and just have some fun. Maybe for like an hour or so in my truck by a baseball field and a golf course where there's people jogging and speed walking and... uh doing some weird skiing activity but like on rollerblades but half rollerblade skis tele tele something or other tele ski I, I know the name for it anyways i saw the guy bail he got a nice raspberry on his knee it wasn't fun and also there was this dude who ran by me today was like sonic the fucking hedgehog while i was just like walking my chunky crater ass around here and i was just like man that guy is just built for this like he is built for it <laughs> you know those you know those guys who just their body is like 120 just it's all it's all must like skinny muscle frame but like slender men right like but he's just designed for it he's supposed to run it's just some people are supposed to run i don't have that body i'm supposed to like chop wood or something or maybe like kind of deal like shoulders and stuff and just tree trunk legs and things like that but you know, different strokes for different folks. And that's what this thing's all about that we're going to do today as my glasses fall onto my face. Uh, that's what we're doing. We're just doing, you know, different strokes for di different folks, looking around, watching people behind me. We're, we're making judgments. You know, this guy was fast as Sonic. I got a crater moon ass. So it's like we're all, you know, we, we can all be, you know, a little a little judged here and there. But these are just truths, comedic truths per se. So anyways, let's let's get this new uh, fuckboy profile going here. And uh, I'm so distracted by people all around me. This is <laughs> very unnatural. Okay, let's go. I'm going to put the TikTok, like, record on my phone, so put it here, and then you guys can watch along with me, and we're going to listen along to what we're watching. And it's going to be just a good old time. All right, TikTok as a podcast. Here we go. All right, y'all. <laughs> new profile is created first attempt this blew my mind that fuck boy rd was available and i'll pop that up on the screen right about meow as you can see here at f-u-c-c-b-o-i-a-r-d-e-e -E, fuck boy rd so 
no qualms. It didn't ask me fuckboy or D1275. It didn't ask me for fuckboy underscore Vegas, like things like this. It didn't ask me any of this. It just asked me, or not asked me, it just let me have it. So this is amazing. All right, let's go ahead and uh, make this pop. <laughs> All right, so fresh page, as you can see here. I have no no history of anything, and uh, we're just going to go to the home page and start making things happen. I got to get the volume. Honey, I know you've had a long week, so we're going to make you feel better. Anything you want to do today, I have to say yes. Anything? Yes. Can we go get Mission Halloween costumes? Yes. And then can we go on that spooky hayride? Yes. And then can we go get pumpkins in the car? Okay, first of all, 1.5 million hearts on this okay so i'm gonna assume these people are already killing it or they just got a viral vidsky but uh the feeling of this is cutesy at first but I, is there a twist there might be a twist yes <laughs> yes <laughs> honey i know okay so <laughs> i mean sure like it's just the most everything's people sweet cozy days cool but like not not worth 1.5 million i don't think <laughs> just in my opinion wasn't very entertaining wasn't that good you know the rubbing like toilet paper on your chest will make your tatas bigger what seem to work for your butt as i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i take a look at my life and realize there's nothing left because i've been did you know that rubbing toilet paper <laughs> all right fair enough pretty funny these are these are all really like big liked videos this is so interesting about starting a new tiktok is that none of it is curated and it just feeds you what's hot so this is probably like all like main page shit which is definitely interesting but so this is the thing about tiktok that i like this is a well put together tiktok for sure but in my mind i go like and this is what i don't get about tiktok or social media sometimes like the the idea that you had to like sit and plan with your wife or significant other and you were like i'm gonna say this line and you're gonna be loading toilet paper and then we're gonna put the snoop song snoop dog song on it i think that's snoop dog and like you're gonna throw toilet paper at me and while i understand that you have to pre-plan content like everything that i do is kind of planned in a sense too but i don't know there's just something about the idea of people like sitting and scheming a video and then you like go to the grocery store because there's like nothing else in her cart i feel like if i let's well can i go back your chest will make your tatas yeah, bigger what seem to work for your butt yeah it seems like there's nothing in the cart and they literally just went to get a thing a toilet paper to like shoot the scene you know <laughs> just an interesting thought but it is what it is you have to pre-plan to make content in a sense so i get it but it's just feels i don't know it just feels weird these are five things that make perfect sense in canada but might not make sense in other places first we got poutine or as people from not quebec call it poutine now you might think that this sloppy mess of fries cheese curds and gravy just looks like cardiac arrest in a bowl and you'd be right about that but it's the best damn tasting heart attack you've ever had and he's correct there's something about it uh we all know this we've had it here many times poutine uh poutine uh, poo in a tin or poo on a teen which one do you do i don't know probably the former is probably the better better thing to do don't go pooing on teens but uh <laughs> he's right man like there's just you would think you look at it too and you go like that can't be that great it's like three ingredients but those three ingredients are just they're chefs like it's just chefs like you can't argue it it's just kissy like you the, the, it's just i don't know they're the, they're a perfect combo salty amazing Healthcare's free so who gives a shit next we got polar bear shaped license plates uh i'm not gonna lie i just put these on the list to show that our license plates are cooler than yours hmm. third <laughs> is not liking toronto just a boot <laughs> that's so funny because like as someone who's lived there right i weirdly like love because like, i just have memories attached to it and shit and it was like probably the best time in my life will ever be but that being said the canadians in general across the board like toronto gets shit on people <laughs> people hate toronto every canadian from outside of toronto hates toronto <laughs> yeah. but people from toronto usually forget that the rest of canada even exists so i don't think they're too mad about us not liking them about us. number four this guy's is... got a hard hard about going on or like 
his about is weird. Uh, being scared of gooses, it says. Yo, Every- don't fuck around. <laughs> Geese are fucking savages, dude. They go hard in the paint. And I remember, like, the, like out at my camp or whatever, they used to come up on the lawn. And they would just sit sit there in, like, in gangs, like, geese gangs. And they would just, like, like stalk and look at you. And you'd go to mess with them. And they wouldn't do shit. They would just be like, and what, bitch? Like, what? <laughs> and, they like, and when you get up to a goose, the thing is fucking huge, man. It's the size of, like... I don't know, a golden retriever, but like with a long, strong neck and a big old wingspan. And they, when they go into attack mode, they are not playing. I did grab them by the neck when I was a kid and got away with it, but like just barely got away with it. Canadian knows that these military grade seagulls are the devil incarnate. Right. <laughs> they have teeth on their tongue and they'll World War II kamikaze dive bomb you just for looking at them wrong. Facts. <laughs> Back. Fuck goose this is. Actually, and lastly, we have bag, bag milk. milk. Look, I got one right here. <laughs> it's a real. F- Honestly, never understood it. Bag milk is the bane. What was the bane of my existence? Now, I don't even drink milk anymore. I might use it in some recipes, but chugging down. Okay, you know what? I gotta almost put my phone down for this one because this is kind of awkward holding these two things. But yo, I gotta talk about milk for a second, for real, for real, for real. Because okay, milk is like low key. Ever since a kid. If it seemed disgusting, like why would like milk mustache? Like why would I want like animal pussy cum tit stuff to like stick in the hairs at the top of my lip? Like anything creamy in your hair? No, not so much. Like it's just not really a thing. Like you ever found a hair in a in a yogurt parfait? You ever found hair on your cream cheese? You ever found hair in your fucking sour cream or? in a bowl of milk or anything. Ah, it's like, no thanks. So I used to have a friend who used to slam back cold glasses of milk in his little prepubescent 13 year old mustache. And I was just like, dude, you are different. You are on another one. The milk industry has got to you. Now I'll say this too about milk. Milk has an effective campaign on selling you some shit that you probably really shouldn't consume. That being said, I fucking love cheese. Like, how do you get away from cheese? I don't know. It's it's like the most addictive thing in the world. So I'm pretty sure milk doesn't do the body good. And I'm pretty sure milk is basically a propaganda campaign to tell you that it heals your bones so that they can make more money off this animal before they ultimately kill it to make more money off said animal. So really, it's just a maximal profit thing. Uh, That said, though, it's also somehow amazingly delicious. Now, back to the bagged milk. Men, you used to put them in these stupid little fucking liter pitchers. And everybody who's, you know, I I guess the side of the border and in a certain age frame, you'll remember them. It's like and you and you got to snip the tip and then it gets saggy and you you can't control the pour. But yeah, bag milk is uh is on the spectrum for sure i can't deal with i can't deal with bag milk for sure um so shout out to the americans with their gallons i know you guys keep it in those those gallons but even those are kind of nonsensical honestly because you got like the tiny little ring finger hold and then you got the huge jug with the with the gaping butthole mouth and on the top of the jug and you're like I don't really know what you do with that because realistically, I feel like that you can't control the pour either. So that like splashes into the Cheerios and then they erupt and go everywhere. And next thing you know, it looks like the end scene from deep impact and you're just getting drowned out by a bowl of milk and Cheerios. So I don't know if it's much better in America, but I could say this fuck bag milk. Let's move on. It's less waste, and you can throw them at the aforementioned gooses. This is like a protein water balloon in self-defense. So milk in a bag is great. No, it, no. Let me know if I should do a part two of this. Then <laughs> I check. just noticed he's got a goose on his shirt, and I think he's about to promote it. I got my merch shop. I got a bunch of Canadian <laughs> merch in there, and like two American things. <laughs> These are five right. things that make... I like, I like that talk. That was a good talk. That was a good talk. Got to keep it around the face. Okay. Sir, Sir I'm going to need you to put your mask on. Yeah, but I'm still eating. Oh. Okay, when you're done eating, please put your mouth back on. We got loopholes. He's got loopholes for the tyranny. Sir, if you're done eating. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but I'm still eating. Okay. Okay. Rips when- a subway sub. 
That's interesting. I actually, I told this story before on the podcast or on the podcast on now I think I have a podcast. Maybe like I will one day or something, or maybe this is the start of it. I don't fucking know. What I'm saying is I told this story on my channel uh, before about when I had a, like a, a family come on and they had a full on like Caesar salad dinner, like with the kids and the wife from aisle to aisle there was Caesar salad, there was baguette, there was roast chicken, there was everything. They had a full on, this is pre-pandy, obviously this is a couple years ago, but I was just sitting there, I was a little, I was like, smart, I'm kind of craving, could you spare a plate? Like, I wouldn't mind a little chicken Caesar salad, salad sandwich, because if you got that going, like, clearly I'm going to, I'm going to sniff it and want it, and you're right in front of me, but, you know, I don't have the gall to ask, but uh, smart, very smart. <laughs> Anyways, he's got a subway You're sandwich. You're done eating. Please put your mask back on. Sir, it is time for you to put your mask on. <laughs> it's actually time for shawarma. Sure. I'm still eating. Sir, when you're done, I need you to put your mask on. <laughs> he's got a fucking ban. <laughs> Sir, what is going on here? I'm too much of it. Time for sucky. Hey, woo! <laughs> Sir, I need you to put your mask on. Yeah. Oh, it's a <laughs> I'm still eating. Okay, I get the gist. This is fucking jokes. Because this is obviously like a comedy camp. Like, this is a team of people who put together comedy skits. And this is jokes. This fucking, it kills, this kills me, actually. I don't know why, but it's good. Let's move on, though. <laughs> who is this Adam W? He's probably got huge followers. 13.7 million. Oh, I wonder if we should... Do we go, do we check out creators during this? Maybe that's a different one. Do we like go into their profile or do we just keep it rolling and scrolling and trolling, even though I'm not trolling anything, really? Anyways, this is good. I fuck with that. Don't. Winner. Genio. Genio. Don't. Okay. This, this right here is the bane of like most people in Canada's existence. I don't know how it affects you in America, but holy fucking shit. I'm this this is shotgun level to the mouth or to the person in front of you level shit because every uh gas station you go in here, it's it's foggy central and they just they just shuffle on in. They got nothing going on. There is no urgency. There's one guy at the till. Now it's the grocery plate. It's the the Mart's fault. They should have two lines. They should have, literally, they should have lotto line, and regular people who need to do shit line. And these people just stand there and they play and they play and you got to hear that thing. Winner, Gagnon. Gagnon is winner in French. It's out of control. It is out of control. These people, plague of the earth. Anyways, let's go. <laughs> that sound. Winner, Genyo. Harper, you cannot wear those shoes outside. Yes, I can. No, you can't. It's snowing. Yes, I can. No. Yes, I can. Harper, you're not wearing those. Oh. Just because you don't have shoes like me. Harper. Harper, a.k.a. Jean Benet Ramsey, anybody? Uh, I don't know. Not that funny. I really, there's something weird about uh, parents exploiting their children on these platforms a little bit, especially when they're dressed like, like they have makeup on. This girl's probably six and she's got full eyeshadow, full lipstick. Her, her foundation is done uh, with the bag and all this stuff. I feel like maybe like, the chances of this being done on her own accord, like, like, mom, I want to do my face and have a bag and have a shoes joke about winter. I don't know. This feels like <sighs> parental abuse or child. Maybe it's parental abuse. Maybe the child's abusing the parent. I don't know. But I'm saying this. It makes me uncomfortable. Can we just at least all agree on that or no? I don't know. I don't have kids, so I don't know. But it feels unnatural. <laughs> oh man 
that's so funny that's how this is accurate as shit i didn't realize that was bradley martin's thing but yeah that's fucking accurate that's for sure <laughs> because that's the thing and that's the weird mind game that like people play in uh, with the in in life in general and like dudes do get friends friend zone for you just do get friend zone for being too too much like i just i don't know i've said not all but lots of women are just i don't know it's that it, that's a fine balance to find is like how much care do you care until they think it's too much care and then all of a sudden they're gone and you're like all right <laughs> like and then ultimately on the other side dude is just trying to smash like it, that's that's real shit <laughs> my day ends do you remember last night because i blacked out in an all white dress with a back out so just because there's music in i don't know if i'm gonna get screwed on that so i got to keep it low but just another 60.8k so she's not crazy famous check her out right quick check her out i was so canadian just right there check her out looks like she's a dance talk type girl i'm not gonna get too deep into it but uh she's trying to pull the old the old hottie with a body blow up do all that we're waiting for it it's another one of these ones isn't it oh the suspense that that was a that was a letdown thick in the thigh or whatever but i was expecting just like they always drop it and it's like huge fucking melons bouncing and uh in like a, a bikini or something and then you drive traffic to your other site and then you make sales. <laughs> it's the way of the world these days. We as a society are slowly degrading into I don't even know what. But hey, sack sells. Can you please post my card on TikTok? Today's customer is Sammy from the UK. We just upgraded Sammy's boring plastic card to this custom gold metal card. We laser engraved Sammy's custom design to the front of his new metal card. For this design, we lasered the important card numbers to the back of the card. We then transferred... Ooh, got the gold engraved millionaire club. It's pretty cool, but I mean, like, what? Why? I don't get it. Just be more humble, maybe? Like, you just present that to, like, where everywhere you go, and people are just like, oh, sweet, man. Like, I'm, just, like, checking into a hotel or something. Just that person working their regular job, and you're like, ahem. Can you please put it on my gold engraved millionaire's club card, please? You peasant fuck. <laughs> like it just kind of, you kind of just represent yourself off rip as a bit of a nozzle, in my opinion. Like, cool, you got money, but maybe don't have your card everywhere you go. Say like, I got money plus, bitch, because we got it. You see a black card and you know, okay, this person's caking, but it's like not intention like the company made that card now you fit into like a class like a higher class yeah we get this but this guy really went to the lengths to get a custom card <laughs> a millionaire boy's card anyways once again signs of the world we live in do you remember when mom used to hit us with a wooden spoon <laughs> oh yeah good times i've seen this girl before she's solid so can't i want to see how this plays out <laughs> What are you guys talking about? You wouldn't know. Yeah, God forbid she ever touched her little prince. What are you talking about? What do you mean, what are we talking about? Yeah, I never spanked you with a wooden spoon. Are you kidding me? Is she serious? I can't tell. You're joking, right? Okay, this one's not killing it so hard, but I did see one where she did, uh, like, going over to the mom's house, being like 22, and drinking wine and her being like, no, you're not having wine. She's like, I'm 22. Like, what are you talking about? Yes, I'm having wine. And it was like a whole thing. It was pretty funny. This one, not so much. But you know what I respect about these things is like for someone who shoots content, I know how much like wardrobe change and angles to make the scene feel authentic and legit. Like these take like more effort than one would think. They actually take like quite a bit of like maneuvering and planning and shots and angles and takes and editing and like i gotta respect this she also has a youtube channel i've checked it out before she does shit like this i think like tiktok reactions and whatnot so uh call me chris she's funny she's and she's obviously like huge she's verified 
million. Like, holy shit. And she's Canuck. Just like me. All right. On to the next one. I thought the iPhone ringtone was getting kind of bored. Man, fuck Starbucks. Well, I hate that place. I'm chilling with the girl, and she's like, hey, uh, can we go to Starbucks? I want to get my favorite drink. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm more of a Tim Hortons kind of guy. She's like, come on, come on. I'm like, fuck it. I'm trying to... At any cost. Let's go and make this snappy. So I pull up to the Starbucks. I'm like, hi, salam alaikum. How are you doing? Can I get uh, two ice cap kind of drinks, uh, medium, okay? His accent's crazy. It's kind of Toronto. It's kind of a little, like, ting on it. And then it's a little, like, it's kind of, like, Canadian-esque. Interesting. That bitch on the other side with purple green hair, like a rainbow. She's like, uh, you mean a macchiato? Not the purple green hair call out. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> Fiato, uh, grande lente, but I'm like, bitch, what are you talking about? At this point, I'm scared to death. I'm like a fob. I don't understand the language. I don't know what's going on. I'm bamboozled. I'm like, yeah, whatever. We end up ordering whatever the girl with me wanted, and I yell. I pull up to the drive-thru. The total is $19.26. Expensive for no reason. I'm like, no, ma'am, take it back. She's like, excuse me, I'm not a ma'am. I'm like, okay, broski, take it back. <laughs> That's offensive. I'm like, the price is offensive. What are you talking about? Next thing you know, she's saying his, her, I don't know. Oh, I kicked the girl out the car, slammed my car into the wall, and ran home like Forrest Gump. Walla f man, fuck st <laughs> Pretty long-winded uh, TikTok tale, but uh, he's right. He's got a point. Starbucks is absolutely, uh, in my opinion, just a goddamn waste of your money. You can make it just, well, I don't know. it. Like They do have all these, 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 these mixtures and shit, so like, people who are extremely specific i understand it for you i guess but like anywhere else you go like for me i'm just an iced coffee couple sweeteners maybe a dash of milk kind of guy like i'm not out here trying to make a fucking potion right i'm not trying to concoct a what is it tailor like a like a tailor made coffee cocktail for me like make it a little more plush make a little more like i that was another thing when i used to work in the service industry People be like, like I want like a raspberry daiquiri, but like make it more plush. And I'm like, that's not a term in bartending. That actually doesn't apply to how you would describe a drink ever at all. That that has nothing to do with on your like the 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 flavor profiles on the spectrum of you know is it bitter? Is it sweet? Is it sour? Is there salty? Is it citrus? No, make it more plush. And I'm like, have you ever eaten at a restaurant before? Like, plush. What is plush? You can't make a cocktail more plush. Well, you know, just like ask the bartender if they can figure it out. Like, they're never going to be able to figure it out. Because what you're saying is is wrong. That's an asinine request. It doesn't exist. It's a fugazi. Like, you're, you're living in la-la land asking for a plush cocktail. Now... <laughs> That being said, shout out to me hoes. It's the working man's classic. Starbucks is, I guess you could go waste your money and ultimately like piss people off. I feel like, yo, shout out to people who work at Starbucks though, for real though. Cause I know the, 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 the messy headaches that you get in. Cause that brings me back to kitchen work is like people who order, uh, they come in and you see the mods on the chit and you're like, you can't, like, this isn't BK, have it your way. Like, we have a set menu in this bitch. Like, okay, maybe no onions or, like, add, like, this or no cheese or, like, just maybe a couple. Th but, like, swap out the bun for a gluten-free one that you cook on spot for me. Uh, I'm going to need a spelt, uh, like, patty. It's like, that doesn't even make sense either. I'm just thinking, like, I don't know. It's crazy, the omissions. And I've, I literally the once had... <laughs> had a guest go out for dinner and come back to the kitchen, just walks back to the kitchen, like didn't ask anybody, just walks back to the kitchen and hands me goat cheese. I'm like, who are you? And this person goes, uh, I, we just put in an order, uh, just but like I can't have this other cheese. And so I here's my goat cheese. I'm like, okay, f cool. Like I'll accommodate it. Awesome, because sure why not but like i just i don't know like in my best guesstimate of going out for dinner or going anywhere to eat would i pre-plan goat cheese 
Or would I just say, I'll make it at home? Or would I just go to the restaurant and find the most appropriate option for me and just figure it out then and not have to bring goat cheese? Like, call me crazy, but that seems nuts, okay? (laughs) So anyways, you've inspired a lot here, man. You've inspired a lot. And yes, we don't even want to get into the him, her, zay, zim, za, zoo. All right, let's move on. Girls I would cheat on my girlfriend with. Okay. No one. See, babe? Yeah, okay. Babe. No, babe, please don't. Uh, uh, uh. Is it all just Ryan Reynolds? <laughs> is that Ryan Reynolds? <laughs> Girls I would cheat on my... That was good. I like the dad. That dad is sick. Also, like, let's talk about Ryan Reynolds. Classically handsome? Okay, I'll, I'll I'll give Ryan Reynolds the 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 stamp of approval of being like the, the a quintessential hot man, I guess. Though there is something about him that just I don't know. Sometimes I'm like Ryan Reynolds. I don't know if I. He's a little, a little. I don't know. A little cheat, not cheese. I guess we're all cheese. Fuck it. Let's move on. Another I, one of these ones. We got, we got the vanity couples. 50 times? I more. live 100 times? for the vanity more. couples. Actually, I don't times. at all, more. but they are the best, and they're always the same. Vanity couples are always the same. They're the, it's the hot people of the world. It's people that go to clubs, like douchey clubs, shit like that. Um, but they're always, always sleeved up, always tatted up, a lot of long fake nails, a lot of gym shark outfits. Um, yeah, like in this guy's case, definitely he's got the he's got the icy wrists and some definitely uh, the shredded jeans. Got to have shredded like wash jeans. He's got some paint on his shirt. Not a bad thing. Um, they're just it's a it's a type of person. Like I'm I'm a douchebag who wears uh, hipster glasses and and hipster hats and shit like that. Like I'm the like I'm a type of person too. You walk around these places and like these people see me and they go like oh this is he's one of those guys who wears the circle glasses and the hat and this and the fucking hat the beanie like and hoodies like i'm that douchebag and these are those douche like we're all douchebags you know what i mean it's just that there's like types of people right um and it's like when you look at them you're like oh no and then the weirdest part though is i've had like run-ins where my my preconceived notion and then you like meet somebody who's of this breed and you're like oh like you're actually you're actually dope (laughs) what was that like and so it's like judge a book by its cover shit but it's a certain aesthetic you just you fit into your certain aesthetic and you all kind of have preconceived ideas about each other based off that aesthetic is essentially what i'm trying to say and then you meet people and you're like oh wait i was an asshole (laughs) you're not you're not who i thought you were kind of thing Oh, ma'am, you have a really cute shirt. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Are you fucked? <laughs> what? She has a cute fucking shirt. So roll down the window and tell her the next time I see a cute guy, why don't I just roll down the window and tell him how cute he is? Why don't Fuck you? His shirt. When a dog. See, that's the shit, like, the contrived, the contrived couple's arguments are, like, another they're as bad as the lottery tickets and they're almost as bad as bag milk like the contrived couples content it just kills me man like we all know she's not mad and we all know they planned it and that girl is probably their friend who they're like go walk by and then we're gonna and then all these people are gonna be like "Mm -mm," in the comments they're gonna be like they're gonna be like he like he's got it coming to him later tonight he ain't he's not getting any for the rest of the week oh you better you better drop that man like there's everybody in these comments being and you're like you're just like did you guys actually believe any of that and like why are you even weighing in it's so contrived it's fake as fuck but like it's i don't know what people on i have to remember kids tiktok is children children are tiktok they coexist and they mesh and they live together and they believe things you believe things when you're kids. So it's gotta be kids. Anyways, next up we got Steph Pappas. I definitely know her from this 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 community that like I it's sort of I'm in or whatever. She's just made a lot of food muck content in her car. How many does she have on here? One point six million. So she fucking blew up on uh on uh TikTok 
as well as YouTube. I'll say this. This is the life of beautiful beautiful people, man. I swear you don't even have to try. You just got to be cute, hot as fuck, bring, bring you some content, and next thing you know, you're fucking, you're killing it. And I'll say this. Steph's hot. Absolutely she's hot. She's cute hot, too. Mixed with a little bit... Mixed with a little bit of sexy. And watching her content, I would say... Um, she seems like a very sweet person. Like she does actually just a kind of sweet, you know, nothing. She, she, she seems genuinely authentically sweet and just like a really put together individual in the sense of her aesthetic and, you know, taking care of her shit and, and whatnot. I ordered three Halloween costumes yeah. from Fashion Nova and they just came. So let's try them on. So I got Medusa. So yeah, we all know she's pretty fire. Let's keep going. Do you want a second phone number? Nope. I get this question way too often, so I'm just gonna reveal if my oh. honky honks, oh. my donkey donks, the milk jugs are real. I'm gonna tell you. Hey, I'm interested. <laughs> 100% natural, baby. They're all real. All re I get this question way too often, so I'm just gonna oh, reveal. I want to go further to look. Okay, yeah, she's stacked. See, now I'm falling victim to the shit. And this is the shit. And this is what's crazy about the TikTok algorithm, too, is the more you go into profiles like this, the more it just feeds you these type of uh, creator cre creators <laughs> uh, content. But anyways, yeah, she's she's stacked. They don't. Uh, okay, yeah, those are real. At first, they didn't when she was like that, but... If my the honky honks... Anyways, when it comes you know to what's so crazy is, it's like, people like that, like, just, you're hot as fuck, and then you just clean up on, like, in terms of having your, like, in America, let's say, because, or wherever you are for content creation and TikTok that pays, there's no creator fund for Canada, but, like, she's got mad more views and shit, uh just for like these little videos of her being a rocket ship and it's just like just banking and i'm just like oh man i wish i was born with an, a superior body <laughs> i would just be doing the same and then i'd be funneling you to links to go make other money off my other shit <laughs> fire the most common color is probably orange or red and this is usually from burning something like wood. What I've always found interesting. This stuff kills me. This is like, this is dad shit. This is the shit that like my dad watches on TV. Like the how it's made and the deep knowledge of all of these, uh, these kind of seemingly mundane things. Like how does fire work on a match? Like how does the, how does it spark <laughs> off the igniter? Thing though was how many other colors are possible and it can really depend on what's burning for example yeah well like if there's ink in the news in the magazine paper it's gonna burn green and bluish purple and stuff and we got this this is bill nye the science guy type shit i i, I mean sometimes but doesn't really get me really that fired up <laughs> is there a pun there because he just lit a match i didn't mean it dad joke it is what it is Let's move on. This bottle represents my heart. Take it. So every time you tell me something nasty, it really hurts and it crushes my heart. Crush it. Yeah, just like that. ASMR. Every time you see me talking to another woman and you get jealous and you call me a cheater, it crushes my heart even more. Crush it. Now blow into it and blow it up. You see, that proves that... Uh, if you blow me, I'll be happy, or it fixes everything? Let's see. A good blowjob fixes everything. <laughs> oh, ha, 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 Contrived couples content. <laughs> Fine. Whatever, but I called it. I knew it was coming. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't tell me anything I didn't already know, right? Okay. This person put a glass coffee table on Facebook Marketplace, and this is an actual conversation. Hi, Grace. Is this still available? 
<laughs> no. Okay, I love this already. Oh, man. Just because selling shit on Marketplace is, once again, just... And these are the people that I already know I was going to go. Let's go. Oh, yep. 150. Hi. 150 is too low. Apologies. 160. 250 is the lowest. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Do the wings open or the stasia? The whole table rotates and the sides can be pulled out or pulled in. 200. Are you staying on the surprise? What? Hi. Yeah, I guess I'll accept 200. Are you able to load it and move it? You'll probably need two people. It's quite heavy. Okay. Give me the address so I know you're close to me. Here's my address. Um, could you come to a closer place so we could meet? No. Man, oh, I've been selling shit on Marketplace lately too. And it's like, it, this is, it's the mole for me. But really, it's the accuracy of people's ability to just continue to ask the most asinine things of you it's like no i'm selling something you come get it and do not offer me like a hundred dollars less no i can't move it unfortunately i'll come today i'll text you okay let me know okay hi can you give it at this price because i live all the way in kearney I already said I'd give it to you for $200, <laughs> so I won't be able to deliver it or meet you halfway. Can you record it? Open up the wings? Hi. <laughs> so, yeah, like I recently was selling uh, this engine or whatever, and this dude was trying to get a deal out of it. I was like, okay, cool. And then he's like, oh, but I live and uh, halfway to, to Winnipeg or something on, on a reserve. He's like, and I gonna have to send a guy to drive to meet you halfway i'm like whoa 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 who's meeting any i never said i was even getting in my truck like i'm not meeting anybody ha halfway anywhere that was ne no and i'm not burning gas no i'm not driving to i'm not loading this into my truck burning two hours worth of gas or no four there and back like to deliver you this like what are you talking about i don't where and why how are you just assuming these things like by the time i'm done i haven't even made any money off the sale like are like i don't understand how some people's brain work it's like what are you talking about <laughs> yo stop eating my food i hate the fucking the credit card the ass swipe tactic oh uh, man i've had that in the past many times where you just fuck with each other or like oh man i have one that pissed me off so much was the the like in the morning or just getting like getting up or whatever like just laying in bed she goes for a, a piss or whatever and then on her way out and way back in to like tickle the bottom of your foot when you're just like you can kind of like you're kind of awake but you're not that awake and you're like trying and you're hoping and you're just kind of asleep. And then all of a sudden you just feel like a like a sharp tickle on your foot. And you're just like, oh, it used to make me go crazy. I used to snap for that shit. Just fucking with your partner, man. Like it's just such a, it's kind of fun. Don't get me wrong. But it's also infuriating too. <laughs> too. All right. We'll end that there. This has been a good little adventure into, uh, you know, I don't even know. I don't even know what to call what just happened, happened. But it happened, and we need to keep it in the frame of we're all weird and different, and there's a lot of comedic value in life to things of said nature. Um, but we're all pretty much the same people, thing, doing the same stuff, consciousness, having a time, doing things that feel maybe kind of cool to us, trying to survive in this weird system that we live in that seemingly keeps you you know trying to you know, lots of stress trying to just do your best get through get by live a life be hot be interested in fi uh, uh, fire and different colors of burning stuff on fire talk about bagged milk um couples stuff contrived couples comedy content 
uh, douchebags and hipster hats in their vehicle making a podcast with circle glasses, tortoise frame. Like we all know this. It's all the same shit. We're all uh, we're all just uh, you know. It's just consciousness having a time, and then you don't have that time at some point later in life. So really, ultimately, nothing matters. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll wrap that experiment here. It looks like the sex scene from Titanic in here right now. All I would have to do is finger my back window, and the passerbyers may think that my name is rose and then i'm getting jacked off okay so this is me signing off until the next one you know what to do eat good live well and stay true if you like this content please like comment and subscribe as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel thank you for watching eat good live well and stay true it's black hoodie i'm back cooking these goodies Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah.